Hello, so for sight reading I'm looking at uh, sonatas inspired by Scottish tunes uh, by James Oswald and um, uh, Geminiani. I forgot his first name, <laughs> but anyway, I'm starting with uh, James Oswald uh, and his sonata in D major. He has uh, five movements, each on a different Scottish tune, and uh, the last one is called uh, Paul Watt on the Green, whatever that is, I don't know, but um, it's an andante, and it has variations, uh, three variations, and apparently one repeats the andante, the main thing, after each variation, but I'm <laughs> not going to do that now. I also don't know how much of that I can actually play. Um, it doesn't look completely difficult, but um, of course <laughs> there might be surprises. I kind of checked what's happening here. Uh, D major, uh, not, not a lot of uh, shifting. I think it's all in first position. Tempo andante, okay, it's not very fast, like walking tempo, and um, there are different, um, uh, not rhythms, how do you say it, different um, uh, time signatures. So, first one is uh, in cut time, then again, yeah, the first three are in 4-4. Four, four. And um, then the third one is in six eights. Okay, so let's see how far I get here. <laughs>
Yeah, okay. Um, I think I'm doing the last one again. Uh, this, the second one is really <laughs> surprisingly nondescript. Um, I mean, these are actually trios for two violins and cello. So uh, I checked um, the second violin part before I played and actually all the variations second violin has nothing to play <laughs> so that's it and uh, I didn't look at the cello so maybe for the second variation the cello has something amazing but uh, maybe maybe not then variation three yes um, just want to go for a little bit more evenness of the 16th note and um, yeah, the bow. back I don't know how this comes out like uh, there is uh, less time for the down bow than for the up bow so between these down bows and up bows could still be worked out better. Yeah, so I'm still <laughs> not completely happy with my choice of repertoire for sight reading. I mean, this was uh, like easier to digest, but also maybe too easy <laughs> to play so um, yeah it's also I think one side effect is just to play through some music and uh, and see uh, yeah to to get to know some music that's just lying around in my house and <laughs> it's never been played by me so that's uh, at least uh, a nice effect of this. 